Okay. So we're at Mount Battle. And I'm gonna poke my head in here and show everyone why we're not using this as to level up. Challenge. Would you like to start a new challenge? We've ever gone going with new challenge. Alright. Go for it, Asprey. Oh, that's right. I don't have to worry about Rui being in here. By myself. Welcome to Mount Battle. We want you and your Pokemon to go all out in our training here. Let's begin. Cool trainer Stum would like to battle. That's a that's a crusty name right there. Taylor and Hutu. Wow! Level 16? Wow, level 15? I'm gonna gain so many levels training at this place. Oh, don't worry, it picks up after like the first 30 fights. Why isn't he training at Mount Battle? It's such a good- that's exactly what Mount Battle is for. <laughs> and they're level 7 in Gale of Darkness. Halo fainted. All right, here come here comes the big reward chat. Look at this, a hundred experience. Oh yeah, we're gonna be beat nine like he's nothing. Ein is going down. He doesn't stand a chance. Ninety three, ninety three. Oh yeah, look at that. You're a worthy challenger. <laughs> okay. And let's leave. My hat's off to you. Your wins in this area will not be recorded. I'm okay with that. Did I really need to teleport at one? Thank you for taking the Mount Battle Challenge. Excellent. And that is why we're not training there. It'd be faster to just go beat up Kale one more time. And then maybe try Ayn again? Possibly. Actually, you know what we could do? Let's do the Coliseum Challenge, because those give money. That's a better way to probably grind a bit. I think I can do one more at, uh, at this city here. Before I run out of rewards to get. That cast form is so tiny. It's a tiny little monster in, um... In Mystery Dungeon. We're gonna bully all the trainers in the region now. Yes, we are. Welcome to Fenex Stadium. Yeah! Please enter the stadium for the doors on your right. I don't remember Gale of Darkness having just uh, a ridiculous level curve. Are you talking about Mount Battle? I beat XD's Mount Battle and Coliseum's Mount Battle once, because they're so long and tedious. I love this knockout challenge, it really pumps me up. Alright, Flitz. What kind of a name is that? It sounds like an action. Azuril and Sentrant. Wow, they may be ba babies, but at least they're uh, level 40. And I get money at the end of this for a protein and stuff. Yarale and Yukari. Psychic, the Baboos. Oh. I thought I could do more than that. I mean, it's a normal type, but... Wish I could at least use Nightshade in this fight, but no. Remember, Wormpole can uh, survive two hits from my Pokemon, which is great. His Flitz is German and basically means rush. Well, I'm, 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 I think it's more likely that they just made random noises with their mouths until they named the trainers in Ore, the localization team. What do the what do the Ore names look like in in Japan, by the way? I don't... Are they weird? Are they just, like, random... I, I don't even know what terms to use here. Defense Curl. Defense Rose. Thunderbolt. Ein is named... Borg in Japan. Okay. Welcome. 
Let's get some money here. Uh, yeah, I got knocked out. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Flitz. You were knocked out the moment your parents named you that. What is Scrub's name in, J in Japan? Evice's name is Wardak. Okay. Never seen you around here before, big guy. So what? Let's battle. Greb. What's Greb called in Japan? Tent cool. Ito duo. We got nothing on Yarle and Yukari. Except being able to dodge Nightshade. Hmm. Let's just get rid of Doduo, because it probably will do more damage to me. The internet is immediately bad. Hey, I one shot at something. It's a miracle. Okay. Plus four to speed is nice. Psychic. He's throwing the acid at me. Try all at once, but it won't hurt me. I think Coliseums are a decent, fast way to level up, since you heal between every fight. Hmm. I wonder if after this challenge, I can just go ahead and try Ein one more time. Hmm. 450. Yarlay got some stuff. I wonder if I could just start a battle by using double nightshade on like Huntail or something and getting rid of it. Huntail is a piece of crap, and I hate it. Semi final. Scrub's German name is a pun on Hitmontop's German name. Hitmontop is Capoeira, and Scrub's name is. Yo, Kappa. Or it's not, says someone else. Or no, wait, that's the Japanese name. Scrub's name is Kowap in Japan. Weird, weird names. Sonic's no problem, just double nightshade. Try and decide on Plush Galar, Zigzagoon, or Yamper. Both are adorable little friends that deserve to be plushies. Venus is still Venus in Japan, though. Weird. Yamper is a very is a very nice puppy. I wish I could have a Yamper, but it would probably shock me. Whenever I see Yamper running around, it just looks so happy, and I just want to pick it up. But it's not real, chat. It's not real. Just like Moomins. I have to accept that I can only hold them in plush form. Yeah, what's Ryder Willie? Willie is like one of the most normal names in this region. Dell. That's technically a real name. I'll have to try harder next time. Stadium Final Battle. I think Venus's name is the only one that's the same in almost every game. There are dogs close enough to Yamper. There are, like, there are bunnies close enough to score Bunny and Reboot. I'm pretty sure there are no real bunnies in this world that can breathe fire. I may not be an expert on animals in real life, but... I think, I, I think they don't, those don't exist. But bunnies are cute. You haven't met many, many bunnies. No, I haven't. But... I don't know. Yamper is based on a corgi. I know. But... Yamper's not real. Yamper is an electric corgi. Corgi... A corgi would be cute. Maybe I should get one. What do you mean based? It is a corgi. Yeah. Wes is Leo. Yeah, we went over that earlier at some point, I think. 
That reminds me of like one thing in Castlevania that's hilarious to me is Tre is Trevor Belmont. Um, I I think in J in, J in Japan. He's named Ralph Belmont, and for the localization of three, they thought the name Ralph wasn't tough enough, so they named him Trevor. And they've kept up with that one change for, like, everything, all the way up to, like, the Netflix series right now. He's, like, the only Belmont that has his name changed, I think. Well, you know, obviously Belmont is, is, is off of Belmondo. Does the Netflix series, like, do they, I wonder, do they keep, obviously they call him Ralph in the Japanese dub of that series, right? It's kind of funny, though, how the one Belmont that they decided to change the na the first name for ended up becoming one of the most iconic Belmonts, like, after Simon. Because Trevor is a tough name. Oh, you're only pretending to be tense. Oh, I beat this guy. I was kind of just mashing the button while talking about names. There's probably, like, someone watching this right now named Ralph being like, What do you mean my name isn't tough enough? I think they did that with, like, the live-action Incredible Hulk series. The old one from, I think, the 90s? Probably earlier than that, actually. No, I think it's much earlier. I'm, I'm probably way off. But they changed the name Bruce Banner to David Banner because they didn't think the name Bruce was tough enough. It's my money. Oh, I got lots now. Let's go to the village and buy some stuff or I lose it all. I don't know. Back in the day, they liked to change names because they thought... They had to make things radical. They had to make things cool. And then they made Soma not Japanese. That was just one of that... Uh, uh, totally a 2003 decision. Can't relate to people unless they're not Japanese. It's the protagonist. Uh... What should I get? What should I get? Hmm... Cozy speed a little bit would also be good. I mean, Cozy Speed is kind of abysmal from the other Smeargle, so I'll buy two of those. And I think I'll buy this for Yukari. Assuming I haven't run out of effort values yet. Speed was raised. Yeah, you missed me defeating all of Mount Battle, don't worry. You didn't miss anything important. Okay, then. Maybe I'll go fight Ein again? I mean, Bruce is also the name of Batman. Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> uh, I think I'm- yeah, I will start with- let's see, what's Athena got? I'm not gonna need Surf. Thunder Wave. Can start by Thunder Waving Huntail, and then Yarle can use Nightshade on Huntail, and then next turn we could probably just get rid of him. Let's try that. Batman is so weird, chat. I've gotten more into Batman media lately, but like I've been playing Arkham Asylum. I'm like one trophy away from getting the platinum on it. I'm gonna go in here and make a save. But the thing that I always find funny is I whenever Batman is depicted in media with like his most classic design where he he has like the black underwear on the outside of his costume I he looks so ridiculous. I wish I wish all Batman media would just fully adapt the whole the weird armored looking suit cuz that looks so less silly and actually cool. I, you just, I, whenever he has just, like, the gray outfit with, like, the blue or black underwear on the outside of it, he just looks so lame, and I always just, like, chuckle at it. Oops. I need to go... How do I get there again? It's been a while. I think I know the direction I have to go. I just go like the... No. 
<laughs> yeah, there were Telltale games for Batman. Were they any good? I don't know. I, I haven't really, like, played any Telltale stuff. Everyone says they're all exactly the same. Batman's name isn't John Wayne. No, it's not. It actually isn't. I'm sure you're making a joke there, though. The siren is the best part of this here, uh, place here. New Batman movie coming out. Honestly, I could not care less about Batman movies anymore. It just seems like that's all the only thing they want to make. <laughs> and I just, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we've seen enough of them. I don't even care about Spider-Man movies anymore. You impress me with your guts, such fortitude, fortitude, but guts alone will not let you win battles. Here we go. Imagine if the siren played over this battle. Oh, he's starting with Lantern. Uh, he, he heard me say I was going to use uh, Thunder Wave chat. Well, Adam West Batman is supposed to be silly. Hmm. I'm just going to get rid of Lantern. I'll go for Lantern. Ugh. Here comes Yarlay. Oh! Lantern has a lot of HP. Apparently. Oh dear. <laughs> Start of the rain. Alright, I think maybe I should go for Thunder Wave on... Golbat. Hmm. Nightshade Lantern again. And Thunder Wave Golbat. Ah, oh, yeah, Golbat's fast. A lantern there. Do my best when I can here. I've also been watching the Batman Beyond cartoon, and that's a really sick show. Just finished, like, only the first season so far. I have, like, all three seasons on DVD. I'm just been watching those when I have time. Not recently in the past week. Oh, come on. Boop, 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 boop. Well, Yukari can come out here. For those that don't know what Batman Beyond is, it is a, um, a show from the early 2000s. I think it started in, like, the year 2000. All right. I'm gonna need Alarm Lantern to death, and for Athena, I'll Nightshade Goldbat. And how, what the premise of Batman Beyond is, it takes place, like, I think 50 years after original Batman animated series. Bruce Wayne is given up being Batman. He's just an old man. He's just this old man. And there's this kid, high school kid, named Terry McGinnis. Terry's father gets, like, murdered, and he finds out, like, that Bruce Wayne is Batman by complete accident. And he ends up stealing, like, Batman's, like, one of, like, uh, high-tech suits, and he becomes Batman. And then the two of them start working together to just, like, protect, like, future Gotham from all, like, these new sets of villains. It's actually pretty sick. Um, it also has some sick rock music for its soundtrack as well. Flinch or Paralysis Chance. I'm gonna Needle Arm Huntail and also Thunder Wave Huntail. Oh, here comes the Surf. Bruce Wayne retired in 2019 and Terry starts in 2039. I've seen all of the first. I've seen all of the first season. That did have the episode with the Royal Flush Gang, yes. And Surf is hell. Surf is hell. Goodbye, Yukari. Hmm. I'll try Red Shiva. Thunder Wave. Huntail is paralyzed. It can't move. This might be my only chance to do something here. Mm. Ten was pretty cute. Yeah, I, I did remember th seeing that. 
I was like, man, if I was a kid, I would have been like all over, all about that girl. I almost worded that very poorly. You know what I mean? I'm like stu stumbling. Would have been like childhood cartoon crush or something. Or just say waifu, that works. Batman Beyond takes place later than the Castlevania Sorrow duology. Well, that may be true, but they're not the same universe. I'm pretty sure Batman is in the same universe as Castlevania. I have it on good authority. Boo, ba, 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 ba. Well, I'm getting destroyed by Surf. Who saw this coming? I have seen, I have seen like the two episodes, two of the episodes with Ink. They're in the first season. Ouch. The rain stopped. Who saw this coming? I know. All right then, the rain stopped. So this is my one chance to take out some. Hmm. Focus entirely on Huntail here. Hmm. If I use Blizzard, I could probably take out Golbat as well. Super effective. Huntail avoided the attack, of course did. Well, I got my experience for this. Oh, he has an Altaria? I don't remember this. I wish Blizzard could come out for that. We're gonna have to hope it works. Surf, here we go. Why can't par Paralysis just activate, chat? Why can't Paralysis just activate? It never does. Not a single paralysis again. Never. Alright, I'm gonna try Blizzard, I guess. And... They both got Blizzard, actually. Probably my best chance to take down Altaria and just hope a paralysis activates for Huntail. I'm not going to win this, I don't think. But... Oh, come on! Quad effective, my butt. I don't even can't freeze on tail. That'd be pretty nice. Just critical hit. Uh, maybe I can freeze her. Come on. Ice. Oh no. It's not me that's froze you. It's you that's iced me. Oh, look at that, guys. Paralysis didn't activate. Well, may as well try and get the Altaria finish. Get that boost of experience. Boop, 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 boop. And we can see Paralysis not activate again. There's the Shadow. There's the boss Pokemon that I absolutely cannot fight. And look at that chat, no Paralysis! Is, like, this game glitched or something? I'm genuinely asking that now. I- it feels like paralysis is just not working. <laughs> I think I've seen it happen to the opponent once. Good experience, at least. Let's go fight, like, Kale or something. That'd be one way to actually get stuff. Magic guard before magic guard. That's what it feels like. No. I mean, hit that. One in four chance, chat. 25% chance of paralysis activating. Yo, we meet again. Yet my tackles miss more often. At 95. Game hates miracles. Curlia. Karin Prince. Maybe we can get a level up out of this fight. And there's the shadow. Own 
tempo. Okay. For now, let's just get rid of Furret because he's kind of annoying. Yeah, I got the burn. Now I can just focus on the other Pokemon because he's not a problem at all. Yeah, strength? Go ahead, try and strength me. It may be a friend, but it's an enemy right now. It's also a shadow Pokemon, so it's definitely not your friend. Shadow Pokemon cannot be friends, chat. They have to be tamed. Uh, Nightshade, Curlia, Secret Power, Curlia. So dramatic. Curlia fainted. 600, that's decent. And there's Nuzleaf. I have four ferrets, they're the best. Oh. They sound like they would make a nice little pet. I'm probably just gonna get myself a puppy dog one day. I could run around and I can give it head pats. And it would chew up the Moomin plushies and I would yell at it. That what would happen. probably would. I wouldn't leave any puppy alone with those. If it rips those up, I'd be angry with it, but then I would have to still love it afterward. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get a Corgi and name it Yamper. Or I could do something... Or I could give it a real name. Instead of naming it after a Pokemon. All puppies are cute gonna find a cute puppy. Let's go Blizzard this time. Just get some backup Moomin plushies. Do you think I'm made of money for Moomin goods? The answer is yes. I have a special fund set aside just for it. No one knows. And it missed. The vet builds are the most expensive part. Yes? Possibly. The Moomin Fund is always there. I never really understood that thing about people making Instagram accounts for, like, their pets, and then they get popular, and then they get brand deals, and I'm like, is this a real thing, or is it one of those things where people tell me it's year, Tell me it's real, and I just accept it without looking into it. I mean, vet bills can cost a lot, yeah, but you want to keep your puppy healthy. Priorities, food, internet, water, Moomin merchandise, mis miscellaneous, you forgot Pokemon cards. Did you get a level up? These two, not really. Ferrets are the third most popular pet after dogs and cats. Yeah, you think it would... It really? You, th you sure it's not, like, fish? Or birds? Or something? I feel like those are more common. Doesn't everybody just have a pet fish that they put in a, in a little fish bowl and ignore? Fish don't count. All right. Why don't they count? Storage Pokemon full health. Even hamsters? Yeah, hamsters. You don't have to take fish to a vet. Hey, you could, if you cared enough. Bunnies would be cute, but I don't know the first thing about taking care of a bunny. I have friends that have dogs, so if I have, like, I feel like they could help me if I have, like, a question. Rabbits are the third most common. Things are heating up in the the pet fandoms now. I know all about bunnies. The bunnies are cute. Let's fight you. Okay, she doesn't want to fight again. How about this one? Yeah, 
You're right, you have to take a fish to a marine biologist. Hey, I want to set up the chief. What about foxes? You can have them as pets in certain countries. I'm good. I don't think I want a pet fox. That'd be weird. I don't I don't think I trust it. I have one very fluffy cat. Well, I have six good uh, good boy. No, wait. I have one good boy and five good girls. That's what I have in this. They pee all over the place. I don't know which which animal you're talking about at that point. You can take a fish to the vet as long as they do exotics. Needle arm, secret power. Foxes pee all over the place. And wh how do you know that? We're getting there. It is well known that foxes do that. Well, not well known enough for me. You. I have what? Because I have wild foxes all over my yard. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there like some sort of magical fox bathroom that's in the woods or something that they're supposed to use? I don't know if that's a really fair comparison. Hang on, Cozy's almost there. They could not be, be in my yard. Have you tried putting down a sign so they know? Be like sticking around for demonstration. Has anyone ever had a pet turtle? They look like they'd be cool, but I feel like they'd need a lot of room, depending on, like, do tur turtles get big, don't they? Like, is there, like, kinds of turtles that just stay really tiny? Because I know baby turtles, like, it, some people end up getting as pets, are very, very tiny. Blizzard and blizzard. Let's do that. Turtles stink. Depends on the turtle. Or it's a, a reason foxes aren't actually pets in a lot of places is because they can't be potty trained. Fun facts, I guess. I had three turtles, yes. I took care of a turtle at a shelter I volunteer at. Aw, that's wholesome. He had to be put in a Tupperware container. Because he would flip himself over and not be able to get upright. I feel like only Florida would let you have pet alligators. Yes, I'm defeated me again. Shocking, I know. Turns out uh, Surf destroys puppies. Hmm. Doesn't matter, just secret power you out of existence. Not even Florida has legal pet alligators, you sure? I feel I feel like that wouldn't stop them. I got to Ryko. Oh, there are some states you can. You outperform me. Maybe a bunny rabbit would be cute. What about pet plants? Just get a Venus flytrap or something. Pet parrot? You get a, get a pet parrot and teach it bad words or something. Do dogs and bunnies get along, chat? And are there like certain kinds of pets that just you, you can't have them together because they fight? I mean, people say that dogs and cats are bad, but... I don't know, I, I, I've never really seen that 
being true in real life. I've I know people that have had dogs and cats together and they get along just fine. It's not like ingrained into the, into them that they have to hate each other. Oh no, bunnies and dogs aren't good together. Dogs are predators and and bunnies are prey. Dogs and cats are best when raised together. I feel like cats would be bad with bunnies. Cats and bunnies can be friends too. I'm gonna go and try... You know what? Let me try and fight Willy. Yeah, you're tough. Real tough. Oh, he doesn't want to fight again. He never wants to fight me. Hmm. Go back to Mount Battle. I'm just gonna- you know what? I'm just gonna go try and fight Ayn. Only like one level up or so, but still. So, I think... Uh... Maybe Golbat should be taken out first. Athena needs to be out to start. Hmm. You know what? What items do you have, Yukari? I got three rare candies now. Do I want to use them? Or do I want to save them? Someone already has that. So, let me see here. Frogs go well with... All pets except uh, except bugs. Athena up front, and um, do I start with Blizzard specifically for? Hmm. I think I should start with Yarale again and just focus on the Golbat first. The Golbat seems to always come out first. can't have pet hippos or pet moomins chat. I'm pretty sure that hippos absolutely cannot be pets. That would be weird. Um, now what was I about to say? And if moomins were real, they would be considered intelligent intelligent creatures and we could not have them as pets. They would be friends. That's how it works. That's just the dude there. Um, moomins are friends chat. I mean, if I could chat, one pet I would like to have is a baby bear, but that is probably a bad idea for thousands of reasons. And I'm definitely not going to have a pet baby bear at any point, even though I love Teddy Ursa and wish I could have a Teddy Ursa. I cannot have a, a baby bear as a pet. It doesn't work. There's, there isn't like a place in the world where that's actually a thing, is there? Because I can't see it working out as a good idea. I cannot see it working out. And the baby bear grows up and it'll turn into a big bear. And that won't be good. Guts alone. I wouldn't even get a pet beaver. Beavers are... You do not want to mess with those things. Ugh. I told a story about how I pet a, uh, I got to pet a baby lion before, but that lion would have gotten real big. This is- this would have been the perfect time to use Blizzard. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Great, now I'm gonna get ice beamed here. Just focus on Golbat first. Beavers really there there could be really aggressive animals. You don't want to mess with those. Not to mention I have to constantly give it like stuff to like chew on and sharpen its teeth. I believe how it works is that a beaver's teeth are constantly getting so sharp and they and they're always biting on wood to kind of like dull them out because if they don't do that, their te teeth get so sharp that they actually start hurting their own mouth. And I flew up high. Can I? Too bad I can't just dig here. This would be a good point to use. Hmm. I, 
Light Shade. Set up Reflect, why don't I? Yeah, beaver's teeth keep growing, they need to wear them down. This is going alright. Will Paralysis activate today? Hopefully this Reflect stops this from doing anything to me. Yes. This might be the best start. Oh, oh, Yarley, look at you. This might be the best start for me. Because, uh, Thunder Wave Altaria, it didn't use Safeguard or something. I should go that. I don't have to worry about Surf yet. I can take out the really annoying Pokemon first while they don't have, like, an annoying Surfer setting up. Here it comes. I don't like Huntail here. And now I'm gonna use Thunder Wave on... Okay, yep, Paralysis didn't activate. Thunder Wave on... Uh, Huntail. I should send out Prince here so I can... Go for Blizzard? Who has Blizzard as well? Cozy does. You know what? Send out Cozy here, because I don't think I can do anything else here. A pet skunk? Ah, that'd be weird. I don't know if I could I'd do that. Thunder Wave, Huntail, Blizzard. Mainly for Altaria here. Now they're both paralyzed chat, so. How many paralysis are we going to get this episode? Avoided attack. Good, good, good. They, but they missed them both. Hey, look at that. He didn't get paralysis. <laughs> oh, neither did she. Oh, this is... This doesn't make any sense. This should not be possible for, for them to go this many turns without... Uh, whatever. Nightshade, Huntail, Blizzard... Can't paralyze Raikou. Lord of the attack. Critical hit. That's nice. Cozy's doing something. Chad, it finally happened. This is as rare as a shiny Pokemon. You got this, Cozy. You got this. I wish I could have a pet sloth. Baby sloths are some of the most adorable animals on the, in the, on the whole planet. Um, Nightshade Huntail. Blizzard time, let's do it. If you've never seen a picture of a baby sloth, look it up because they are so cute. They are so cute. Okay. There goes Altaria. Now, now comes Lantern now. I might have a chance at this. this these are still my first two Smeargles, by the way. Um, Chat, know what I can do? Reflect War Off? Alright, fine. I can't Thunder Wave. Can, chat, can I use Thunder Wave on Lantern? Well, will it even paralyze him at this point. Not really. I'd rather just use Nightshade on Lantern and Dig on Lantern. It's got Volt Absorb. That's a status move, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. I can waste time by going underground. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, you missed. They're all going to target Cozy. I can do this. Chat, paralysis is actually working. I can do this. I can do this. Just gotta focus on Lantern. Super effective. Three times it's worked this battle, yes. It doesn't have water absorb, right? Yeah, that we went over that last time. It's uh Cozy, you did good. You did good. So, in a moment, 
Raikou is going to be coming out, I can use Secret Power to possibly inflict a status condition on Raikou. And also just, you know, use Leech Seed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, here we go. Rain stopped. Yes, they gotta set- they gotta waste a turn sending it up again. Nightshade, Lantern, and... I think I'll set up Swords Dance. I think I have a chance to do this. Go for this on Raikou instead of Leech Seed. Am I actually gonna do this? I, I managed to interrupt Surf enough times. go. It's time. There's a shadow Pokemon. Swords Dance. As long as he doesn't one-shot Prince. He will. You know he will. Rain Dance. Chat, I can use Surf with Athena. That'll probably actually hit really hard. Well, harder than anything else I can do and finish off Huntail at the same time. Surf. And secret power. Come on, come on. Oh, he has thunder. I for I. Why did I think he wouldn't? And I survived. Good, good, good. Come on. Come on. You can do this. You can do this, Safina. Oh, that's not good. Let's how, how much does Sword Stand secret power do? Oh, that's actually some damage. <gasps> Chat, I, I won. I won. He's too slow. Hang on. Uh, Nightshade, secret power. I think I just won. Yeah, I did it. All I had to do was stop that stupid hunt tail from using Surf enough times, and I'm good. This miracle did it. Puppy friends win again. This power, it, it defies belief. Shock movements all around. Yeah. Hmm. Your struggle to get here was all in vain. The shadow Pokemon we've produced have already been moved elsewhere. And that, of course, includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. <laughs> and he runs. He runs away. He can't do anything. Give me this. One day to ROM. Alright. Oh, what's this, actually? I still haven't used the rare candies, too. TM26. Uh, for the rare candies, I can... We'll, we'll save them for Realgum Tower at this point. We'll see, we'll see what starts to wall us, and then we'll finally use it. Why did the screen need to go black for that to work? That's weird. Anyways, for, so for the rest of the game, this siren just plays eternally. It never stops. So if you miss any items here, you have to come back and listen to that the whole time. I hope you enjoy it. Isn't that Earthquake? Well, I can't teach it to anybody. It doesn't matter what TM it is. PDA. Email. Lab data. If you find any data at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to me in the under. No thanks, I'm not doing that part of the game. Should make a save while I'm, while I'm done this. <coughs> Self-destruct sequence has been activated forever. Saving in memory card slot one. We'll finally get another sketch soon enough, maybe. So, I think I go here now. Can I go here? Or do I have to go see Net? I think I have to, yeah, I think I have to talk to Net. I absolutely cannot enter yet. Hmm. Back to the under, everybody. Hmm. 
Now let's go over here. Uh, maybe construction ma will magically finish when I go talk to Net. I really don't know. Is that right? You got three of them UFO operating discs. Makes me wonder how many there are in all. Hi, Asprey. Did you meet up with that Silva guy? He was saying something about going to check out Realgum Tower. But where is this tower anyway? Uh, here he is. Oh, how'd it go? Did you find any data? Hand the data ROM to Net. Oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, you, you check it out, kid. Just make sure Cypher or Nintendo doesn't catch you with that. Oh, hey, this data ROM appears to contain a list of Shadow Pokemon that have been made so far. Oh, but no, it looks like they've wiped the data. Please leave this with me. I'll somehow try retrieving information from this data ROM, even if it means going over it little by little. As soon as I discover anything, I'll email you. Okay, is that it? Do I just leave now? Asprey, did you go to the lab? Are both you okay? Yes. I'm so glad. That's my hero. You're so inspiring. Hmm. Nothing else here? Good, good. It's rotating the way it should. Alright, I did that. Guess I, I guess the tower is open? Oh, really? You're gonna make me do that again? Select a UFO disc. You move the UFO forward. Now let's get on over here. I like how the only thing stopping me from going to Venus is that small pile of garbage on the side. No, that was just weird purple stuff on the ground. I'm pretty sure that there is no blood on the ground in this game. That would be weird. Hey, what? We finally finished work on that gigantic tower, but we did take a long time to build or what? I don't know when was the last time I went back home. You go on up there and see for yourselves. It's clean and shiny from what I call gor it's what I call gorgeous. Yeah, they just put that random construction worker so I finally know the tower is done. It's Cypher's base. It has a coliseum on top. Yeah, I just know that it's Cypher's base. They sure finished cleanup here pretty quickly, didn't they? We've been expecting you. Now please do go in. Hello, welcome to the Realgum Tower. Today is our opening day. This is Real Gamer Tower. Only real gamers are allowed to enter. I've proven myself as a, as a strong gamer, so I can do this. If this isn't the biggest waste of space and resources to move around like this... Oh, hey. Woohoo, you kept me hanging around, Asprey. You ruined things in Pyrite for us. But, you know, we're not about to lose over and over to you. This time, I'll win. And I mean it this time. Let the music play. Oh, never mind that. We'll battle right away. Alright. He doesn't even have his battle theme anymore. So, I forgot. I thought the boss rush was at the top of the tower. I have to just fight them at the start here. Oh, he doesn't even have all Ludicolos now. 45? That seems low. Oh, I didn't heal. I kind of just assumed I did. I'm at a bit of a disadvantage, but whatever. Let's do it, chat. Let's do it. Um, Fina could go down, so maybe I'll Thunder Wave Golduck right now. And Rad Shiva's also got Thunder Wave. Let's, let's just Thunder Wave them to start. Oh yeah, I love Mirror Beast theme in the last one. Or the, the XD, sorry. Not last one. Let's say that for. Mirror B wasn't in Stadium 2. If you could call this Stadium 3. The first dying fight was only a warm-up. And he's got the Brick Break. Boo, 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 boo. I have two Pokemon left. This is a problem. I'm probably gonna lose. The Drain. Oh, and he got a critical hit. That's cool. 
that's real cool. Okay, then. Pretty much everything I do is gonna be neutral on Ludicolo. I wonder if Nightshade would just be stronger. Flat 50 damage. I should just try and focus on Golduck. Try and flinch it with Needle Arm. And I'll go for Slash. A Dancing Pineapple, yes. Oh, I did nothing to it. Hmm. This is painful. Goodbye, Yukari. Yeah. Might be standing a better chance right now if I actually had my full team with me. Don't think for a second we're beating this tower today. Ap we that is absolutely not going to happen, I promise you. We are going to get walled so hard, and I'm going to have to go train even harder. Slash. Oh, great. Golduck is paralyzed. It can't move. Rain Dance. Oh, now you do that. Secret Power Ludicolo with Slash Golduck here. What? No, no you can't do that. That, that. That's not supposed to be in this game. You piece of... Hmm. We're, we're dealing with this now, huh? Okay, bro. Okay, bro. This like I think this is the first time I've seen the opponent use a potion in this battle in these battles. Am I forgetting something? Oh great chat. I'm so happy. So excited. I gotta deal with this now. Toast. If he's got another one. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're definitely gonna need to level up a bit if this is what they're doing. Oh, Ludicolo's gonna dive. Rain continues to fall. I like how the camera still pans for his dancing, even though he's underground. Can we at least take down the Golduck, please? Yeah, I can also train at the Under Coliseum and stuff. I might do that next. Loudred. Ugh. Loudred is just a re reject from a Monsters, Inc. movie. Oh, no. He's d yeah, the, the model is just placed underground, and the, but the camera still shakes because he's dancing. <laughs> well, make your last stand here, Prince. Home for a crit. Takedown. Uh oh. Come on. Recoil. Leech seed. Evaded the attack. Brain stopped. Alright. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to go train a bit har harder. Definitely so I can have my next sketch. And probably pick up some moves from the admins here. At the very least, chat, I'm pretty- I- Hang on. How does it work? Do I have to fight them in order? Or... Can I just, like, go to the right instead and fight, like, Venus or Dekim or something? Well, secret power you. Waterfall. Saw that coming. Saw that come from a mile away. Any order. Oh, white out. Who saw that coming? Ran all the way back to the lab. No, 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 get out of there. Okay, close enough for these. Prince is also close. Cozy's also close.
All right, let's let's try the Under Coliseum. This game had a choose like uh, an Elite Four you can fight in any order before Gen Five. Whoa, wild. Construction worker's gone. I thought he was gonna stand there eternally telling me that construction is finished. Better make a save here or something now. The levels there are in the 50s. Oh. But my Pokemon are there, too. Hmm. Alright, maybe I'll just go to the, give the Pyrites Coliseum again, then. Last time I tried to do that, I got destroyed by a badger and a bear. Damn poor baby bears. Time to get moving, Wes. You got this. Uh, no, not Mount Battle. Pyrite. Okay, we'll hold off a little bit until we do that Coliseum. Go fight some friends. Defeat bear friend. Oh, we're definitely gonna need to level up a bit. That's fully expected. Because right after I, this game takes you just immediately into a boss rush. It's it, This is a very short game, casually. Um, yeah, let's fight here. Okay, I remember kind of being like, when I was a kid at this point, a little underwhelmed because I thought it was going to be much longer. You don't have to do a lot in this to beat the game. Uh, man, chat, I wish it would snow again. It's still, like, just lame looking outside. Oh, yeah, and then there's Gon Zap as well. I can always forget about him. Mirror B's gone. We can battle with no strings attached. Send out the bear. Like I said, chat, um... Teddy or Sin Lanoon. I'm probably gonna, next time I go grocery shopping, I'm just gonna pick up some snacks and stuff and just have a cozy, and just plan for a cozy day, chill with my Moomin plushes, and I play RPGs for myself, that is. Tomorrow's stream is uh, Wednesday, so let me see, hang on, let me surf here. And how about I, how about I use Dig? Um, Tomorrow's Wednesday, I think I'm mostly just gonna be doing all Purity Forest attempts again. Might wait till later in the week to start something new. I don't know at this point. Oh, Surf did nothing. Why did I even think I could try that? Probably because I can't use Nightshade on anything in this dang game. Everybody's got normal type. Bear attack. Bear attack. Hmm. Well, I can paralyze them, I guess. They're level 50. Yeah, they are. Limited attack missed. Thunder wave. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try Zigzagoon again. That thing was going well. Moon is paralyzed, can't attack. Cozy use Dig. Poor little bear. No damage to the bear, though. I... My Pokemon cannot hurt these things to save their life. If a Pokemon is normal type, I can't use Nightshade, and bam, life is over. Um, I have been playing some games on my, for myself. I wanted to start The World Ends With You. Uh, the first one on my own time. Since, as we all know, like, the sequel randomly got announced yesterday. I know lots of people were excited for that. Well, Thunder Wave that bear, slash that bear. Hmm. I might, I might just pick a new, new game to try later in the week, or I'll try and record some stuff off stream. Like Mad Father, for example. I, I can't do that on stream, because for whatever reason, Having to a do, having like OBS open just makes the game keep closing on me, and I have no idea why. It's 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 kind of weird. Or rather, having any like stream related stuff set up just keeps messing it up. I'm just gonna surf now, so why not? Slash the bear. Surf. We'll just do some damage now. Poor little bear. Aw, Teddy's so cute. 
I just want to pick it up and give it a hug. But I can't. It's not real. That's right, you can't move. Full power surf now. Ah. Slash. Headbutt. Teddy or some made Chikorita cry in the anime, so I've never been too fond of it. Well, maybe the bear doesn't like you either. Not all the ba Teddy Ursas are bad bears. Teddy Ursa is such a wholesome, cute bear, though. You can't hate it. No. Slash attack. Getting to 50. I finally beat this guy. I finally beat the guy with his badger and bear. Yeah, I was thinking of like doing something else before Mystery Dungeon tomorrow, but I don't know. Maybe it, I think it'd be more fun if I just did all plan for all uh, Mystery Dungeon attempts for the day again. I feel like I gotta sort out something new that I want that I actually want to play. It's fine to take a chance on stuff and then decide, eh, I'm not feeling it, but. Yeah, I'd rather just find something, though, that I, I want to stick with and can actually beat all the way through. More stuff I can't nightshade. Great. Hmm. I guess I'll just start Thunder Wave and stuff again, and Vital Throw, maybe. I'm still playing regular Hy Hyrule Warriors on my own. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to play Link's Awakening today, frustration. But, I don't know, I just, I didn't like it enough to want to do a full playthrough. Oh, Brick Break. That's something every Jigglypuff needs, apparently. Boo. Uh, Prince. That can work just fine. comes on out. I'm probably just gonna end up playing the Switch remake on my own time. Uh, attack Jigglypuff now. Frustration shows up when talking about Link's Awakening, lol. Secret power time. I say that that I didn't enjoy it, but I can still throw myself into, like, Smeargles and a thousand Purity Force attempts without having my spear broken. I guess I'll try Surf now. Finish off Jigglypuff. Backlog of games is getting bigger and bigger. I mean, that's also a thing where... Uh, also, welcome to the stream, friend. Ugh. Where there's so many games to play, and I think it's... In our limited time on this mortal plane, we should prioritize playing what's mo what we find most fun. <clears throat> Destroy the Del Caddy. I kind of wanted to do more randomizer stuff, chat, but... I don't know, we did lots of randomizers last week, and I feel like I gotta do something different. I, well, I really want to record Mad Father. I just can't stream it because it, the game just keeps closing itself whenever I do anything related to, like, streaming setups. Maybe I could pick another RPG Maker game to go back to as well because Strange Telephone was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to getting that uploaded. There's level 50. You know you're awful. You don't get have to get all serious on that. Hmm. All right, Coliseum semifinal. The, th the problem with RPG Maker stuff, though, is that there's a lot of it that's just it, their creators are just anti-fun and don't want people to stream it. <laughs> Ugh. 
I heard you sent me to be packing. Let's take a look at your power. Let's go it. Let's go for it. And I don't want to. I'm at the point where I know I, do, I shouldn't try and stream like a hundred hour RPGs because I'll get bored of them. He says playing Smeargle. He says playing Purity. It depends on if I enjoy it, really. I don't know. I kind of just want to pick something short and sweet. Discover something fun and new. I'm gonna go Blizzard this time. Assist. What are we doing there? Yuri attack. Oh, of course you get a crit with that. Why wouldn't you? Here's my critical surf. You know. I don't know if I want to stream, like, an SMT game. Maybe I... I don't know. Maybe I could. Oops. Maybe an RPG would be better if it's shorter, but... I don't know what I'm in the mood for. I, I feel like I'm in the mood for more weird stuff after playing... After, uh... Playing and enjoying... Strange Telephone. The issue is, it's like, man, those are the hardest games to find good stuff for. Because they're either bad, or the creators are just super anti-fun, and then they... And it ruins everything. Uh, I'm gonna go Flamethrower this time. Maybe I can get burned. Quickly weak Surf. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Yeah, that Loudra just used overheat. When your boombox plays music a little too loudly. It doubles as a heater. There goes the Loudra friend. Stomp. Ow. Hmm. Surf is good now. Flamethrower Loudra it again. Uh, you know what? You know, thinking of something that's short and sweet, I would. I do want to play Tokyo Mirage. There's a lot of games that I'm, I want to get, like, a capture card for. Because the capture card I had before is garbage. Dylan recently bought a new one for streaming Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and it seems to work fantastically for him. So I'm probably going to buy, eventually buy myself the same one he is. But the thing is, we're getting, chat, we're getting close to December. And it's also, you know, this year. Which means uh, it might be difficult to get something, like, shipped to me right now. Can't you borrow his? I mean, I also could do that. But he, like, uses it every day. I don't want to mo mooch off his stuff. Um... Because the thing is, chat, I also want that so I could record footage for other potential videos as well. So I probably would need... If I get it, I'd be needing it a lot, so I don't want to have to, like, rely on borrow his. Order your own and borrow his. I mean, I will. Will. But... What was I saying? I was just thinking. Yeah, Tokyo Mirage. I do want, probably want to play that on my own. Thought about making a video on that one. I'm super excited to try that one. Like, I have it on Switch. I just haven't gotten to it. I have tons of RPGs on Switch that I want to play on my own time. But I just don't have the time. Even in this year. I am making more time for it. Like, like I said, I've been playing some things. I recently played Arkham Asylum. And I'm currently... Yeah, just on the last trophy to get the platinum. And then I'm probably gonna be done with it. Now eventually I'll try City. Hmm. What was I gonna say? Oh, Octopath Traveler. That's a good suggestion, but here's the thing about that game. It has a Steam release. But, for whatever reason, Square Enix doesn't understand how uh, different currencies work. So, the Steam version of Octopath Traveler cost more than a full price retail copy if I were to go and buy that instead. So I I think I'd have to drop like no, oh, 90 to 100 dollars just to buy a copy on Steam to stream it. So yeah, it, that's in Canadian dollars by the way. Like I don't think you Americans have that issue, but they don't adjust foreign the foreign currencies properly. Also, I might die here. 
Mm. And yeah, the fur had facade. I know, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> I lost the battle. So, as much as I really want to, wanted to try and stream that game, I, I also don't want to give Square Enix uh, a ton of money. Because they're dumb. I don't like, I don't, I, like, I shouldn't have to use something like a VPN. That's kind of the issue. It just makes me mad and not want to buy it at this point right now. I mean, I do have it on Switch. I might as well just get the capture card instead. I mean, yeah, that's probably the best option, honestly. <laughs> just get the capture card instead of paying, like, almost 100 bucks for Octopath Traveler on Steam. I tweeted about this a while ago, but for whatever reason, Square Enix is just bad with their Steam prices if you don't live in if you don't live in the US. Let's go. Kale, what if I buy it for you? Now, I hear that suggestion a lot. And but I don't I don't like like people buying me things. Cuz I can't always I I feel like I I'm making too many promises. Uh, there's then there's expectations of me to get to it faster and it just becomes it's just easier not to have to worry about things like that. It's hard to explain, but the the point is, Square Enix is is dumb, and they set it up so that I have to pay. I essentially overcharge as a Canadian for Octopath Traveler. Maybe they changed it by now. Maybe I should look that up at when I'm done. But the last time I looked, it was it it cost an absurd price for the Steam version if you're Canadian. If there's stuff on sale, I'll, I'll get it for myself, potentially, for streaming. Like, I'll, I'll take a look during the, the winter sale. Hmm. Oh, there's a Shadow Pokemon. Bone Tempo. So, let's go ahead and take out Curlia. And also just Vital Throw for right there. Alright, and... Wait for a Square Enix sale. True. You know what's also frustrating is, chat, I would absolutely love two long games I would love to stream. Like, I'd stream them this week if I could. Final Fantasy VII Original and Final Fantasy VIII. I would love to stream those games because I really want to play them. I like their soundtrack, and I remember just, like, watching my older cousins show me them when I was younger and being like, whoa, these are cool. I've always wanted to play them, but I can't because... Square Enix music, especially for those games, is super claimed. And it's not by Square. It's by random people, because Square doesn't care enough to put it in the system themselves. I know that Vinny has had huge problems with this. There's times when he plays Smash Brothers Ultimate, and he, when, he, when he plays the Final Fantasy VII stage, he gets claimed by those people, and it's so annoying. I mean, technically, I could stream it and just not be able to upload it to YouTube for a while. But that, that that would end up causing, like, a massive drought to YouTube stuff. I'd have to, like, go super overtime to keep up with stuff. I remember, I've heard another streamer I watched talking about this, yeah. It's an absolute pain. Red Shiba needs some level ups, too. Same with FF9. I actually don't know about FF9, but I don't know. I, I, I Maybe I'll play that one, but I honestly just would rather play 7 or 8. Um, Nightshade, you, and just Slash for it there. So many of them are claimed by a cover band. Oh, that's the worst. That's the absolute worst. Ugh. I mean, and the only other alternative is to make a muted version, and that's just like... Even though I haven't played those games, I feel like playing through Final Fantasy VII with the music muted is probably would probably be one of the soulless things I could upload. Ugh. I wouldn't want to experience it like that. You just mute the whole thing, yeah. Probably a reason why I don't make time to... It sounds like someone dropped something upstairs. I can hum the music for you. Let me just get a kazoo. I'll learn to play all the Final Fantasy tracks. And then just play it while I, between breaths of talking. 
Or I'll just record myself playing all the music on a kazoo, and then I'll just edit it later into the YouTube upload. <laughs> That'd be so stupid. Hmm. Final Kazoo 7. Do it on one of those elementary school recorders. Did Dylan have to do something like that for a Toho game? I know he's had some claims on some annoying stuff for Toho games. Uh. By the way, um, this is technically relevant, but did you guys hear about that stuff where I think there's like a tweet that Twitch support made where someone asked what to do about their stuff getting like claimed or whatever and Twitch straight up told them just mute the music and everybody was mad. Like, I made that as a joke suggestion a few minutes ago, but that's actually something that support told someone. <laughs> oh. This is the, this is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have anything nice. At least they responded. At least they had the current decency to tell them no when they asked for help. <laughs> That's one way to say it. Can't anything be easy. Chad, I was just thinking of something maybe I could do for something shortish. What about Mischief Makers for the N64? kind of realize I have some nostalgia for that around the Christmas time. I've, played, I've beaten that game tons of times. Maybe I could set that up. Maybe for later in the week? Mm, could be fun. I mean, I have figured out how to get N64 stuff working pretty well. It doesn't have issues on, um, modified N64s, does it? Oh, I'm sure Twitch doesn't like the, the changes themselves either, but it just seems like to a lot of people that they're not doing anything about it. Um, Athena and Yarlay can go up front. Yeah, I, I played Mischief Makers a ton when I was younger. Um, I don't think I really want to go fight the building people. Athena, Yarlay, and Sheba. You know what? I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the Coliseum again. This time I will put Prince and Rad Sheba up front. <clears throat> the Burger King game. Yeah. I've actually heard that Kirby also has a problem. There's like apparently this random account that specifically only claims Kirby stuff. And apparently that was the account that claimed uh, that weird Kirby collab that everyone was mad that they said Nintendo did it, but it wasn't actually them at all. There's this random, pe there's this random person or whatever that pretends to be Nintendo. It specifically targets Kirby stuff, and I have no idea why. It's it's weird, <laughs> but it, I heard about that a while ago. Hello, welcome to Pyrite Coliseum. You know what the Pokemon you have? Yes. Boop, 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 boop. Oh boy. Things are heating up in the Kirby fandom. It's great. Mirby's gone. The, the, the lad straight up said no one can enjoy Kirby ever. Teddy bear. Look how happy that teddy Ursa is in its profile picture. I just called that a profile picture, yeah. Slash the teddy bear. And secret power the teddy bear. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Pokemon Stadium games. Like like I said earlier, I just stopped because stopped I got bored of them. I don't want to do that. Boop, 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 do, 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 thrash. Go, bear, go. You did your best, Prince. It's all right. Send up the cozy.
Dead Ears is almost down. Let's make sure it goes super down. I'm gonna use Headbutt. So, chat, I don't know, chat. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I think Mischief Makers might be a safe game to play for me anyway, because I've beaten that game so many times when I was young, and it's just, it's really easy and just fun, in my opinion. Oh, come on. Boop, 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 boop. The bear is down. Bear is down. Burn. See, the thing about um, doing variety I'm finding is it gives me lots of opportunities to try new things that I didn't really play when I was younger. But I don't always enjoy them as much as I think I would. And I think it's better to just move on in that situation instead of just forcing myself to do a full playthrough because people would want to see it. You, you, you gotta take a chance on random stuff sometime, and it's fine. It's fine. Um, try using Blizzard, I guess. Headbutt. Glover is that weird game that everyone heard heard of, but I didn't know anybody that owned it when I was younger. I've seen, I, I like Nitro Rad's video on it. They put a ton of money into advertising Glover. But it was not a really excellent game, from what I understand. Well, that's the thing, it's very, it's very noticeable to people when I don't enjoy something, so I hate just continuing to stream out of the... out of, like, feeling obligation. Sometimes you just want to relax. Sometimes difficult things can be fun. Like, in the case of the Purity Forest runs, people wonder how I haven't had my spirit broken attempting those, but I just I just find it very fun, and I enjoy spending, like, really long streams just attempting those. Here we are. I gotta, like, pick out a list of... I think I need to pick what I need to do, chat. Sorry. Ooh, let me talk here. Um, I need to, like, make a list of safe games, and I, this Lanoon is seriously taking out my whole party again. I can't hit it. Like, why? I need to, like, make a list of games that are safe for me to play and replay that I'm always in the mood for, and sprinkle in some new stuff every now and then. I've been doing that more recently, and I think it's worked out very well. Ah, uh, clear my mind. I've never really played Skyrim, I don't know. I've watched you enough to know, to get a feel whether you're enjoying it or not. I mean, that's true. It's very obvious. I just like to mix things up. As much as I can. Like, I, like, Smeargles, it's suffering to you guys, but I enjoy it because I like Pokemon. And I can put up with it. And I can talk about random things while I mash the A button and watch the numbers go up. And when I see those ones and zeros, my brain is like, yes, you just you get the you get your dopamine today. Oopsie. Hmm. Um just trying to think what else I could try. I, I think it's also okay to try some stuff as a one-off as well. Uh for example. I did, I did a one-off of Dead Cells, and Dead Cells is a fun game, and I want to play some more of it on my own time. But doing it as a one-off stream was a good was a good idea, because it was fun. I got to check out the game I've been curious about. But if I were to have kept streaming it, I would have done, like, a few more episodes of it as a stream, and it would have just been annoying for me to want to continue it, because I'd rather just play it on my own time. Same thing happened with Don't Starve, but I didn't, like... I've, I've stopped streaming it for a good while. Like, st there's there are games like Hades and Enter the Gungeon that I have curiosities about. I wouldn't mind doing them as a one-off just to look at them. But I'm realizing that, you know, games that go on for a long time, I shouldn't feel obligated to play the whole thing if I just want to check it out, you know? There goes that. There goes Prince. He did his best. Now send out the cozy. 
I know Rogue Legacy has a sequel. It's in, like, Early Access, I think. Uh, there is the pretty games, yes. I, I have, um, like, the special edition on Switch. But the thing about that is I haven't played a Disgaea game on stream. I'm playing Disgaea 1 Complete on my own time for fun. I'm And I'm thinking I'm going to play Disgaea 2, the PC, the PC version on stream. That could be something fun to do over a long period of time, because I do enjoy those. I do really enjoy Disgaea, and I think it'd be just fun. Assuming it doesn't get, like, there's no issues with playing that game, like any claims or whatever. Dig attack. Yeah. Another thing I've been hearing about Rogue Legacy 2 is I... I I've heard some people say the gameplay is fun, but the, the writing is kind of like pee-pee poo-poo jokes. And people are like, yeah, it's bad enough that, like, I've heard people complain about that. That's kind of dumb. Which is weird. Final Fantasy Tactics. I have never played that game, actually. But I guess that could be cool. I guess Fire Emblem could also be something cool I wouldn't mind. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I know enough about Final Fantasy chat. I don't... I haven't actually played and beaten a Final Fantasy game in my life. That's kind of a re another reason I wanted to check out 7 and 8. If, if you know, I, it would let me. Oh, yeah. Advance Wars is also a series I kind of wanted to check out. Chat, would you... Would people... Blah, 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 sorry. But people say Advance Wars is an easier to get into version of Fire Emblem. Because I've heard them... They're both strategy games made by the same people. That's all I know about them. That's all I know about those series. I don't want to assume. You know, honestly, maybe one day, one, one point I will try the original Spyro on stream. Like the PS1 original, since a lot of people keep asking for that. And I don't, I don't really want to give money to Activision for the remake, though. How about Hat in Time? You know what? I actually, that actually is a game I want to play. I've heard good things about A Hat in Time. How long is it? I did want to play a collectathon until Mario 64 started giving people issues again. Like, my brother had issues with Mario 64 recently when he played the Chaos Edition. Peach's Castle music started getting him claimed by not Nintendo. I know. Great system they have. I know that's a thing that people hate hearing get mentioned a lot, but... That's the thing. It it's such a big problem that I can't you can't physically ignore it, no matter how hard we try. Because whenever someone's like, "Hey, can you play Final Fantasy VII?" And I'm like, "It's like, yeah, I like keeping my channel." Professor Layton. Yeah, I, I I feel sad hearing that name now because of you know the stuff with Level Five shutting down their North American section. Uh, I still haven't gotten to I still haven't gotten to the final game in the Layton series. Well, actually, no, that's not true. There's like Lady Layton now. I don't even know if that's getting a sequel. Uh, let's take out that thing now. Anyways, sorry about Advance Wars. Advance Wars seems fairly different from Fire Emblem. Here are most good things about Advance Wars from the Fire Emblem community. Advance Wars doesn't have permadeath, but some of the maps are rather hard. Okay, you know what? That, that sounds more appealing to me to try, because, I don't know, I, I, the permadeath stuff in the older Fire Emblem games kind of just annoys me. Because I just want to keep all the characters alive, and I don't want to have to just level up a new guy to replace them. Yeah, I could try it. I saw it, it's happening. Like, this thing, chat. I like video games, and I like checking out all these different video games. You don't have to like every game. It's it's perfectly fine and acceptable. Because, I think, I more recently, I just prioritize having fun over everything else. There aren't characters in Advance Wars. Each unit is a generic soldier. Well, that could be fine. I imagine there's actual characters for a story, though, right? Like, uh, tacticians or something? Controlling everything? Let me just set up a reflect now, just to be safe. The 
there are. Yeah, I'd assume so. How many Advance Wars games are there? Because I know there's Advance Wars 1. I think there's a 2. They're called Advance Wars because they're on Game Boy Advance, but they made one for DS, I think. There's three of them. Which systems are they all for? Alright. The actual characters are tacticians. There's Japanese-only ones? Well, I'm assuming those got a fan translation, right? Or are we gonna have to wait for Nintendo to release it and make it- and it disappears at the end of March? Advance Wars actually goes back to Super Nintendo? Really? Really? I could have sworn the name Advance Wars, you know, came from the fact that they made it for Game Boy Advance first. The GBA and DS1 are on the Wii U eShop. Well, oh boy, I'm gonna have to brush the dust off that fella. It doesn't? Wait, what? I'm not following anymore. There was a second DS1. Is that the one that wasn't translated, I guess? Just try and take it out here now. Burn. The earliest is Famicom Wars. Oh, so they just ch Oh, I see, that's how they name them. But I thought the DS ones were still called Advance Wars as well. Advance Wars had ad advance in the name because the first English one was on the GBA. Oh, that's how they did it. So it wasn't... I, I see. It's a localization thing. That makes sense. The NES game called Famicom Wars predates first Fire Emblem. Came out in 88. Okay, cool. like Mario Kart Advance. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I know that in English, the ones on DS or, or one of them on DS was still called Advance Wars, right? I like when games had clever titles based around the system they were on. Because, like, they called the first Castlevania on DS. Don't let your head over... I'll knock the swagger out of you. Um... They called the first Castlevania on DS Dawn of Sorrow, as in, you know, Dawn, Sorrow, DS. My favorite one is Kirby Triple Deluxe for the 3DS. Get it? 3DS Triple Deluxe. I thought that was hilarious. And King I think the 3DS Kingdom Hearts was called Dream Drop Distance, as in 3D. I thought that was cool. It was better than, like, on the N64 when everyone just called something you know, name 64. I thought that was a little, uh, yeah, didn't age the best for me. Anyways, let's get rid of the U. Maybe, oh, I might not, he's got Brick Break, I'm dead. I'm probably not gonna win this challenge. There's two on the GBA, two on the DS that came out in English, and two on the GBA, and the first one on DS are all the same story. The second one is a whole different setting and characters. I that. Advance Wars Days of Ruin for the DS never came out in Japan, but was still made by Intelligence Systems. Wait, what? Wait, it, wait, 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 wait. They made one for the English market, but not in Japan? That's weird. What? What? That, that, like, never happens. How does that work? Uh, anyways, now. Hmm, maybe I'll try and paralyze it since it's gonna cause me some trouble here. I'll set up Reflect as well. It's confused. So I guess they stopped making Advance Wars after those? I mean, that's, uh, that's not really shocking because, as we all know, Fire Emblem was about to die as well. And it wasn't for the... If it wasn't for the surprise success of Awakening, that's that they would not be making any of the strategy games anymore. Oh yeah, remember code, Codename Steam? I actually owned that and I played a little bit of it, but um... I don't think anyone cared when it came out.
did anyone like play and beat that? I think it was one of those games I was playing, but like I got really sick for like a good while and I couldn't and I just like dropped everything I was playing for a while. Sales were awful for Advance Wars towards the end. <clears throat> well, yeah, Advance Wars is one of those game series that I would see in, like, Nintendo Power, but I never knew anyone that had them. I never played them myself. I thought, like, oh, this 16-bit this, uh, like, graphics looks pretty cool. I want to play this. That looks cool. Um, the only, like, anime game I had... W for my younger self on the Game Boy Advance was Super Robot, uh, Super Robot Wars, or Super Robot Tizen, as that one was called, Original Generation 2, and that game was sick. That was, like, my first, like, Japanese RPG game, or, and strategy RPG. I should play that someday, but I, I'd have to play the first one at this point. I've never played the first one, so... <sighs> Ugh. It's weird, because Young Me, like, that was the first time Young Me played a game where, you know, they're like, there's all these different factions, there's all, like, the, these, all the, like, these different enemies, and, and, blah. Politics and all that going on in the world. I've not played Custom Robo, no. Sludge. I like, I like the look of 16-bit games. I think they look great. Just have that nice look to them. Oh, by the way, Chad, I did recall another another game series I do want to try is Mega Man Zero, but uh, the thing that makes me slightly hesitant on that is just the fact that... Oh, you know what? I'm going to Thunder Wave Combuskin and Nightshade coughing here. The thing about Mega Man Zero is that it's difficult. It is considered very hard, and I know that the first game or two is a little crusty compared to the rest, so I'm just worried I might it might not be fun to stream, but I do want to play it regardless. There, there have some janky mechanics that are super frustrating. Well, here's... Actually, you know what? Here's a, comp here's a good compromise, chat. The reason I want to play Mega Man Zero is because I played Azure Striker Gunvolt. Maybe I could... I Maybe I could play that, honestly, because... Yeah, I want to do Gunvolt. Gunvolt was a game I randomly played uh, a few Christmases ago, so this is actually the perfect time frame for me to kind of, like, feel nostalgic for it. Yeah, that could be fun. What if I just played Azure Striker Gunvolt, chat? I haven't played any of the sequels or that or that spinoff. Is the PC version good? Because obviously I can't really set up the 3DS one. Uh, I'm going to surf now. I'm down for that. I think that would be a more frust less frustrating way to play that kind of game, since I've already beaten that one. Azure Striker, though, is weird. Like, weird. Don't know anything about Azure Striker? Uh, anime Mega Man. More, or, the correction, more anime Mega Man. Oh, I'm, I think I lost here. Mega Man was already anime. Yeah, I know, but... Asher Striker is, uh, more anime. I'm tough, you're weak, end of story. Okay. Bro. Let's check my levels now. Yeah, we're probably definitely not going to be Storm and Rail Railgum Tower today, but getting some level ups is good. Athena's about to get Sketch, but we got to get the level 49 Pokemon up there, too. Maybe Chrono Trigger one day, but again, that's like another Square game with Square music, with Square problems, because Square people keep copyrighting all the Square stuff. Have I said square too many times? Red Shiba Yarley. Boo. Boo. Do, 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 do. Let's just do the good old dual square again. <clears throat> be there, be square. I 
don't know. We'll, we'll see about it. Maybe on Saturday. Chat, thing is, I'm gonna have to look into it. Does anyone know if Azure Striker Gunvolt gives, uh, copyright problems? Because I think there is that... I don't recall any of the tracks doing that. Hmm. Isn't there like that vocal track, like the of like the anime intro, the girl sings if you like activate her power or something? I don't recall that. I think I'd like to play it regardless. If that's only one part, I could just honestly mute that part. If people seem to want it. I mean. Picking like Mischief Makers and Asher Striker. We're just picking anime. Anime peeps. Amnesia. Chat, I just want to have fun with video games by Christmas. I don't think that's such a hard thing to do. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Sonic Chronicles for the lulls. Uh, I, that's the last thing I want to play around Christmas. That th that game was a Christmas gift when it came out. Oh, man. What was that game? I think it was like 2007, 2008 when I got that. That's when it came out. I know I got it for Christmas the year it came out, and... Uh... I did not like that game. Nobody really liked that game. Play Sonic Chronicles to bash it. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll start up the game and be like, Sonic the Hedgehog had a rough transition to the Nintendo DS. Oops. Um, I'm gonna go fight Kale again. Because Kale is just gives the safest amount of experience. I have not played Sonic Battle in the Game Boy Advance. How does that game work? I could probably make a good one off. It's like some sort of fight fighting game thing. It's it's weird. Weird. Tell me more about Sonic Battle if anyone if anyone knows about that. Sonic Battle is good. Like, what is it? Is it, like, it's a weird 3D-style battle system on the Game Boy Advance? It's a Smash clone. Oh! Isometric Arena Fighter. I... I don't even know what to picture anymore. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that could be for a fun one-off, then. Why not? It's a Sonic game, so it must be good. You get to customize robot. 2D sprites on a 3D arena. Now, I, I've played a lot of Game Boy Advance games to know that that doesn't sound like it'd be a very smooth experience. Sonic mods could be fun for one-off, too. Maybe I'll gather some of those again. Like, chat, I just need to be more prepared. I'm also trying to work on a big video this week. And, um, I think tomorrow we're still going to relax with mainly Purity Forest attempts. And then I'm going to be taking Thursday off to work on something. And Friday I'll be back streaming. I'll probably do some new stuff that day. It'll be good. It'll be the perfect opportunity to play only new stuff. Maybe start a new game and do like a one-off as well. It's got a story mode. Oh. The stream's unfortunately not going super much longer, I'd say. Cozy's down, Cozy's down. Say no to Fina. Hmm. Rad Sheba. Flameflower you. Nightshade you. I'm snagging you an ideas list. Alrighty. 
Now, chat, I say I want to do a lot of things, but that doesn't always mean they work out. Remember that. Poor, poor Athena. Flamethrower that. Make sure you... Did I, like, miss the flamethrower or what? Hmm. It used dig? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was mashing A button. 50... Yes. Machoke. It's a macho friend. I mean, if I had the time, I would st I would just, like, um, or finish Coliseum, play something else after. But I can't really do that, because, uh, D Dylan streams in, like, less, like, an hour. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I don't really like my playthroughs of the Battle Network games. I'm probably gonna start over with that series. Fina fainted. Hmm. Ah, send out your car here. Dream card games. If I could even buy them right now. Machoke has fainted. Oh. Oh, what, Mina? Couldn't do it again. Pokemon TCG Game Boy game? I mean, could do that after, like, I finish a Pokemon thing. So, probably this. Learn how tough you are battle and full body experience. That was sort of maybe the plan, but, you know, we're still kind of stuck right now. You know, stuck training for Realgum Tower again. And maybe the Coliseums. I like Pokemon Conquest, but I got pretty bored of it once we started doing the epilogue stories. It, it got a little way too repetitive. And the Pokemon you get to use, the fact that they only have one attack kind of makes it really annoying to strategize. It just, I just, it just feels really limited compared to other RP, our strategy RPGs I played. Like, I beat the main story, but eh. Fina can go up front. Boo boo boo. I mean, I can also just play a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. That seems to be heavily demanded. I don't know what the heck I'm getting into myself, getting myself into with uh, Forbidden Memories, though. People really want that one, but from what I understand, that's a very, 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 very crusty Yu-Gi-Oh game. Athena and Cozy. Yes, you see, you crustier than Reshef? Yes. I'm told, it, uh, yeah, it is that crusty. Yeah, whatever. Boop, 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 boop. I don't really have an interest in the capsule monster thing. Athena gets hurt. Psyduck's attack missed. Nah, dungeon dice monsters might be a one-off for a rainy day, really. There goes Quagsire. I don't know if I could really play Monster Rancher with its intended gimmick. Yeah, yeah, Dungeon Dice Monsters would work for a one-off, but I don't see myself wanting to, like, get super, like, beat, like, 100%ed or something like that. I learned the hard way that you cannot just 
commit to 100% in all Yu-Gi-Oh games. It gets really, really boring and repetitive. 51, here we go. Sketch time. I do not, um... You know, come to think of it, I think I don't need Thief anymore. All that's literally left to me to get is Never Melt Ice and the Sharp Beak, and is that really gonna worth buff my Blizzard to be that good? Not really. Not really. So I'm gonna get rid of Thief now. I know that there's Monster Ranchers for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know how they work, though. Wah. Pew. Chat. Remember, there's games. There's games everywhere. It's way tough to get a battle again. Okay, Cozy's that level. Put Rad Sheba up front. Our levels are getting up and we're getting our sketches, so let's get there. You looking to battle with me? Yes, I am. We're getting there, chat. Talking about games is fun. Remember, there's always games, chat. Always. Goes to time. Let's go. Oh, there's a shadow Pokemon. Fight it. And file throw you. Super effective. Rock smash. Games definitely exist. Yes, they do. I mean, how could they not? Oh, Cozy, you're starting to do some damage. Good for you. Fight the Mischievous. Vital Throw the Noon. Mischievous fainted. 100's decent for that. And there's a little skinny. No. John Madden commentary. What did I say? I'm just like catching my. Ugh. I need to just, like, awkwardly scratch my leg here. You mean the thing that there's games? Games existing. Football exists. Hmm. I wonder if I should just play something new tomorrow before we start Mystery Dungeon, then. It might work, because I'm going to be going several hours with Mystery Dungeon anyway. I'm just trying to think for a second. Hmm. Yes, I could play something for, like, two uh, around two hours. And then continue it on Friday. Next time, I'm going to win and do the laughing. Ooh. <laughs> yes, he is. We all like to pretend Pokemon exist. Yeah, yeah, there's Mischief Makers and Gun Vaults. How would I look into those after today's stream? Because gosh knows, I'm struggling to get clears. Alright, you know what, let me just use a potion on Cozy there, before I go into fight. I got a full restore. Oh, wait, no, I got a Hyper Potion anyway. Still have the candies. Still have the candies, I know. Those are when we finish leveling up. Probably gonna use them to start next time. There are no wild Pokemon. Only dual square in Pyrite Town. Yes, we're all happy friends. Happy wholesome woman friends. Alright, chat, so what do you think? 
uh, before Mystery Dungeon attempts tomorrow. Maybe just spend two hours playing Azure Striker or Mischief Makers. I could probably set that up, depending on what I feel in the mood for. Hoping there's no issues with streaming any of that stuff. Flamethrower and Blizzard. I think I can do it. Burn it. Burn the ferret. Yes, yes. Sounds fun to me. Avoided attack. Avoided attack. We are all happy friends here, and if you're not happy friends, you are still a friend. We're just hoping you can be happy another time. No bully the ferret. No, I will bully it. Only bully. Fight. Eh, just blizzard again. No, we don't want unhappy people. No, there's a difference between unhappy and rude. <laughs> Everybody likes Furret because it's a little floofy and fun friend. Just like a little Yamper. Yamper's a little fun little corgi friend. Blizzard time again. I'm gonna send out Nuzleaf and I can do that. I did want to do some more one-offs of uh, Resident Evil games. Like, I tried to look up some mods for Resident Evil. Some of them are still cool that I want to do, like um, the All Mr. X mod for Resident Evil 2 Remake and the Randomizer. But some of the other mods are just kind of crusty, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how they're even how to even set them up, if they're or if they're even worth it. Flame throw Nuzleaf there and Blizzard again. RE5 Rotten Egg Challenge. Uh, RE5 is something I'll probably just play on my own. So cutscene heavy. And also, I've heard of also people getting stuff taken down for it, which is dumb. I think Yarlay would be fine right now. Hmm. Let's slash this fella right here. Get him out of the way. Oh, submission. And it misses. Oh boy. Yeah, I know about the the randomizer for N64 version of original Resident Evil 2. It's not a very good randomizer, though. I messed around with it when I was a kid. Like, I just... all you It only randomizes, like, ammo and healing items. And when I tried it, I picked up, like, 40 shotgun shells off the first, like, ammo pickup in the game, and it was just so easy to just go through the game, like, and not even have to try. It, it's a very awkward randomizer, and it's not, like, good enough, in my opinion. It's better if you can randomize key items, of course, in a logic, logical way that doesn't, like, softlock the game or make it unbeatable. I ended up with, like, 70 magnum ammo. Either, either you, with that kind of randomizer, either you end up with a really, really easy seed or a really impossible seed. Where you just have, like, nothing to use and have to just rely on the knife. Boop, boop, ba-doo, doo-doo. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, ba-da, doo, doo. Your lunch break is ended. Alright, thanks for tuning in, friend. Doo, 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 doo. 
Save in the memory card slot A. Yes, sir. -y. Double save it, because you never know when stuff goes wrong. Progress has been saved. All right, chat. This has been a fun smeargle session, but uh, we still have a little bit of time. What if I try and uh, troubleshoot Azure Striker right now? Maybe you can see if it'll work. Because I haven't checked out the PC version. But for the YouTube audience, hope you all enjoy this, and bye bye